Hi, I'm Luke Searville. Welcome to another episode of Meet the Gaffer. Today, we're going to talk about Pavo Slims. So we've got a 1x1 one one and a 1x2. They're basically a matte light with a little speed option. So you know how with a flex light, you've got to put a lot of things together. With a matte light, you still need to put things in front of it, like a snap box and a snap grid. But with the Pavo Slim, you get sort of a, a pop option that speeds things up. So I'll show it to you in a second. But first, uh, a little aside, and that is uh, we're also going to talk about the Pavo bulbs. So you can see in the fixture behind me that there's a, a bulb in there, and that's a LED bulb that is full color, and you have control of it. So you can control it through an app. You can control it through DMX. Uh, if you pull up the Nanlink app, so here I have it in my lighting area, and there's the app, and click on that, and it brings up your uh, fixtures that you've put into a scene, and it goes quite quickly, like most apps for uh, LED units. And if I click on that unit, I see the parameters. And this is in CCT mode. You can have it in HSI. You can have it in effects. And now I've got it at 30% back there. If I were to bring it up, say to 100, and I'm in 3200 Kelvin, I could bring that up to 56, make it cool. goes all the way up to 7500. We'll bring it back to 3200. And down to 30 again. Seems like a good level. And you also have green magenta. A nice way to uh, easily control your units. I also have a unit uh, behind me here that is just uh, bringing up the wall. I've got it at 30 as well. Um, there's a little more. Um, bring it back to 30 and I have it at 3,500, just a little bit cooler than the bulb in the back. So there's 35. And then I've got a one by two Pavo Slim that's lighting me here. Now there are some accessories for the Pavo bulb that I'd like to show you. And here is a, a unit where you have the socket and you have a magnet. So if you have a, a metal situation where you maybe don't have uh, a socket, but you'd like one, you can pop that up, uh, put your bulb in there, and then you can power up the socket uh, with cable. Or if you don't have uh, a way to run cable out of your shot, you can put this on. And now you've got just a regular uh, Sony battery you can put on there. And then this would go into the bulb. Or if you want to DMX it at the same time, you've got this nice uh, dongle. So you've got a female end of the USB-C that would go in there. Then this would go into the unit and you've got a five pin DMX in and out. Pretty handy set of accessories. And then here's one more. And that is a little helicopter unit. You can put on the, uh, the top of the bulb and it spins. So, uh, you know, a lot of LED bulbs, they have a lot of heat that's building up inside. Instead of going out of it like a tungsten, it's coming out the bottom. And so uh, there's often uh, a set of uh, heat sink uh, <laughs> below, and then the light doesn't fill the shade that well. So you can pop one of these little suction cup uh, goes on top, and then you can uh, change the amount of light that goes up above or bounces down. So if you want maximum amount to bounce down to the lower part of the shade, then you close it up, and else you just open it up. So a handy tool. All right, now let's take a closer look at the Pavo Slims. So we had our Pavo Slim 1x2 at 5% before. Now we're going to bring it up a bit more. We have a little larger area, and I've put the snap grid uh, in front of it. What I like about these units is that the snap grid is a little deeper, 
a little more substantial than you normally get in these less expensive uh, panel lights. So that's a good feature. They're listening. Just want to show you the difference in packaging. So here, this is the one by two case, soft case, and it fits in here, but that's the full unit. You don't have to uh, fold it out. And then you get all the other parts in here. So just like with the uh, 22C for Amaran, uh, you know, it, it fits in the pocket on the side, and then you have all your other uh, pieces uh, inside. But you need to fold it out and sort of put it together. So now I'll just show you what the other one is like by pulling up the one by one. So just, uh, just a, a half the size. Here's the unit. And it's quite flat, right? It does have a, a bit of a tail. Now there's two pieces of Velcro here that you undo and it pops out the soft box. And, and it's that simple. And then you have two different fronts. You have the sort of uh, full white and you have a half grid. So uh, that's how that works. If you pull this off, all Velcroed on, then you have, like any type of mat, you know, you just have a, a, a unit that has lensed uh, emitters. But, uh, you know, it's pretty smart. It's just like a, a regular, any kind of pop bag or snap bag. Uh, but if you keep it fixed onto your unit, it's uh, very straightforward and simple to get up and running very quickly. And then just bring it back down, put your two Velcros back in place, and it goes back into your bag. Then you have a little control box, and you have a place to put in your DMX dongle. Simple controllers, as you're used to. Another front, cables, and you get two backing plates. You get one backing plate that goes straight to a, a baby pin, and then you get a sort of articulating one as well. So, uh, very straightforward, and then you get a, a clamp for your control box, and I guess a strap. So. Just um, neat and to the point. Some people are a little worried about, you know, this connector and how it seems to be, you know, somewhat vulnerable, but time will tell. Seems to be pretty well packed. And there you go. Now, as far as colorimetry, all that sort of thing, uh, maybe check out Andrew Locke's Gaffering Gear when he does a review of the full color Paddle Slims. Hey, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. It was fun to use the Paddle Slims and Paddle Bulbs while I was talking about them. They were very quick to set up, easy to link, piece of cake.